Today I have the pleasure of speaking with the founder of Predict Medics. How are you today, Raul? I'm good, Tracy. It's a pleasure being here. So, Raul, let's just get right down to it. Predict Medics, it's my understanding that you have the potential for the testing for COVID-19. Is that correct with your existing technology? Yes, that is right. So we have actually developed a technology to screen for COVID-19, and the key is it is a mass screening technology. So the technology works with multispectral imaging and our AI algorithms, which are patent pending, they sit on a cloud and they communicate directly with multispectral cameras. So imagine you're thinking of an airport. These cameras can be installed and as people are passing by, the technology is just screening them for COVID-19. So mass screening, I hear you. That's fantastic. And obviously other people are watching you too. I saw your news yesterday. You announced the appointment of Microsoft Director of Business Development for AI Solutions as your chairman of the advisory board for a small cap. I actually shot this out personally to a couple of people and said, I keep telling you to watch this stock. So can you talk to us about how you brought this gentleman on board? So I would say it was not me, it was really what we are working on, the technologies that we have developed. Because one of the things that strongly resonated with him, I mean, there are AI companies out there trying to develop technologies, but we are developing and have developed technologies that are addressing real world problems. Brain trust. I would recommend anyone out there who doesn't have a copy of your uh, marketing deck that they secure it because you're the first company I've ever asked to get someone who doesn't have a PhD on the board or management. So you have some superstars. I understand you have a, a partnership with IIT. Is that correct? Um, that's right. So uh, we are working very closely with IITs and it's really the top engineering university in India. And if you look at the IIT alumni, there are the CEOs of Google, IBM, and a lot of international tech companies. And uh, we have a very intimate relationship with them. And that really helps us when we are scaling our technologies. Because one of the questions that we get all the time is, oh, how do you scale your COVID-19 mass screening? And the reality is it is not a problem for us because of the partnerships we have with IITs. Okay, well, you have been doing a news flow mandate. It's literally in hitting them out. What do we have here? Almost every single week. So let's just go through these quickly to bring everyone up to speed. Uh, you also, in addition to your new uh, uh, advisory board, you announced the deployment of its mass screening technology for COVID-19 with Max Healthcare. So tell us about the Max Healthcare deal, please. So Max Healthcare is one of the largest healthcare groups in South Asia. Um, their revenues last year were around 500 million Canadian, and the parent company that controls them had revenues of over 4 billion Canadian. They have 14 hospitals with over 3,000 doctors, and we have actually deployed our technology in their facilities. So uh, again, when it comes to healthcare, that's a phenomenal validation to what we have developed. Well, I heard those numbers. I hope everybody out there is. And of course, you can always email us and we can get you directed to Raul's IR professional. Um, you also just announced earlier this month, and I am, and literally mean two weeks ago, that you filed your patent for mass screening, the, the patent you referenced in the earlier uh, question I asked, like about airports. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? So um, the patent is really for our mass reading technology for COVID-19. And the key is the technology can be deployed anywhere. As much as we are talking about airports, think of shopping centers, malls, arenas, uh, railway station, transit hubs, all, almost any place that you can imagine where people are moving in and out of, you need a technology like this. Because at the end of the day, if you want to control the next wave, you have to make sure that there is no transmission of infection. And the only way you can do that is by containment. But to contain, you have to identify people. We originally got introduced to you because we were so impressed with the fact that you had a solution for impairment uh, in general for both cannabis and alcohol simultaneously. Some people out there are probably going, whoa, we haven't heard of Predict Medics. How, how can we find out more? Can you introduce them to how you, you know, your, uh, your impairment testing, please? Yeah, so one of our technologies is really in the impairment space. So again, it's a technology that we have developed, the patents have been filed, 
And it's really a facet voice recognition tool or technology which identifies both cannabis and alcohol impairment. Not only that, it can distinguish between cannabis and alcohol impairment. And again, the key to the technology is it can be deployed on a mass scale. You can deploy the technology in a workplace setting. And not only that, we already have two agreements with two multi-billion dollar giants. Uh, one of them is Hindalco, uh, which is the biggest aluminum player out there. Last year, the revenues were around 18 billion USD. And uh, we were actually in the middle of a study with 3,000 participants for our impairment technology. And again, that is the biggest study of its kind. But the results out of the, the study were so positive that in terms of differentiating between impaired and non-impaired, that Hindalco made a decision that, you know what, we are ready to get a pilot going in our facilities. And we actually had a news release a few uh, weeks ago uh, around us initiating that pilot with Hindalco. But again, Hindalco is just one of the partners we have. We have also partnered with Tech Mahindra. They are, again, a multi-billion dollar IT conglomerate, and they want to act as resellers for our impairment technology. I also have to ask you, in addition to that, it's quite significant news. We could do an entire 60-minute interview just on that last uh, question. Uh, you also, the last week of April, announced uh, appointment of clinical experts to advise development of AI technologies for mental health disorders. And I know COVID-19 is really bringing mental health disorders to the forefront. A lot of debates about this because, you know, um, the increasing anxiety as a result of the pandemic. You just talk to us about this. Uh, so again, if you just talk about the mental health disorder segment, just in North America last year, over $300 billion were spent for mental health. And one of the biggest problems in that space is that the diagnosis tends to be very subjective. You don't have a blood test that you can take to identify mental health disorders. And that's why it's a space which is very ripe for AI technologies. So one of the technologies that we are developing, again, uses face and voice recognition to identify the earliest signs of things like depression, dementia, Alzheimer's, ADHD, and a host of other mental health disorders. Well, I'll tell you what I, normally I would ask you what we should anticipate the next quarter to, but what I would prefer to do is just get a confirmation that we can get an update in, say, four weeks. Absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us and keep on keeping on. We're all cheering for you, Raul. Thank you, Tracy.